On the girls' basketball team at a Christian school in Vermont chose to forfeit a tournament rather than face off against a biological male on the other team. In a statement, the principal of Mid-Vermont Christian School explained, quote, we withdrew from the tournament because we believe playing against an opponent with a biological male jeopardizes the fairness of the game and the safety of our players. Allowing biological males to participate in women's sports sets a bad precedent for the future of women's sports in general. And joining us tonight to weigh in on this and more is Jessica Anderson, Executive Director of Heritage Action for America. Jessica, great to be with you here in the studio. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. A lot to get to. But first off, I want to get your thoughts on the principal's position mm -hmm. on all this. Well, first off, I think we should just thank the principal in this story for standing on principle. I mean, this is exactly what someone in that position should be doing. What's sad, though, is that the girls, the women of this team, they don't have the same sort of equal treatment that we would expect if there was laws in place that protected them and their access to scholarship, their access to opportunity. And so there's a lot more work that needs to be done to actually back up principals and lawmakers in this sort of situation to put women and girls first when it comes to sport opportunities. Yeah, and this really isn't the first time we've sort of seen these headlines. I mean, we are starting to see a lot of pushback. Do you think the tide is turning? I do. I think the tide is turning in the favor of, of showing just how much lawmakers, both at the state and federal level, need to engage in protecting women and girls. I mean, we're seeing this in states, Kansas, Missouri, Ohio, Arkansas, are all putting forward these protection bills that would allow for biological women to be protected and have as many opportunities um, as they should be afforded uh, at the collegiate level. You're seeing that now married with the effort here in Congress federally. Congressman Greg Stubbe of Florida, paired with Senator Coach Tuberville uh, in the Senate, have introduced a bicameral bill which would provide those protections to women and girls. And that's the sort of legislation that we really would like to see because this is an affront that's not going away. The left is not going to stop when it comes to pushing their agenda against girls in schools, and we're seeing that the new front of this really come to come to the forefront. Yeah, and on the flip side, we see in professional sports, uh, this just happened in USA Powerlifting. They were ordered to readmit a transgender uh, woman into the female category mm -hmm. after a lawsuit was filed in, and the transgender athlete won. Your thoughts on that? This is just the example, and there's going to be even more. Last year it was the swimmer. Now we see it in U.S. powerlifting. The left will stop at no no effort here not to push their woke agenda forward, and it's going to erase girls. It's going to erase girls from sports, from scholarship opportunities, let alone safety. And so when you see an example like this, you really just see how broken the left is and how they'll stop at nothing to erase women and girls from our collegiate um, atmosphere across the country. And we have about 30 seconds left or so, but I do want to talk about this. This is something that really uh, caused a lot of people to speak up. And this is Hershey's mm -hmm. chocolate. Hershey in Canada recently uh, released their campaign for International Women's Day, and it featured a trans activist, and it said uh, her for she. Mm -hmm. I want to get your thoughts on this, and, and what message do you think this sends to women? Well, first off, it's the wrong message that it sends to women entirely. And what an example of something where you should see the women's rights movement, the feminists of the last 40 years, step up and champion women and girls. And where are they? They're completely silent, Tracy. They're not even involved. And that just goes to show you that this is not about supporting women. This is not about uplifting women on Women's History Month. This is about a woke, radical agenda promulgated from the left, which would erase women and girls. And unfortunately, it's permeated all aspects of society the media, schools, athletes, and now culture. Yeah, unfortunately, we're out of time. So much more we can talk about, but this is not going away. Jessica, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.